651 time for the morning sprint in the Middle East. The fighting will stay on hold for at least another day or two and 10 more hostages will be released today. That's thanks to an extension in the ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. The pause also allows for more international aid to reach the Gaza Strip, where the Palestinians living there are facing famine conditions. One of the men charged in the murder of a 20 year old on Madison's east side will appear in court today. Mark Parks Jr. is charged with multiple homicide related charges, including first degree intentional homicide. He was part of a crew, police say, that shot and killed Devon Grant back in July. He's been held in jail after being caught two weeks ago on a $1 million cash bond. It's Giving Tuesday, a time to give back to the community for the holidays, but scammers are ramping up their attacks. If you want to avoid their tricks, be diligent when checking charities, check for spelling and grammar errors, and ask questions about the legitimacy of a business. Most of all, don't let these scammers discourage you from donating if you want to. A Senate committee here in the state capitol is looking for Wisconsinites input on a few bills today. It's holding a public hearing for bills, including one that would require school boards to notify a parent if a, uh, whenever a student uh, under 16 checks out a book and tell them what book they're checking out. And another would require public libraries to do the same. The bills are backed by Republicans in the legislature. Ten people are out of their apartment homes after a fire in Toma. Firefighters say it took roughly 11 hours to extinguish it. They were able to get everybody out safely. A total of 47 firefighters from Toma, Oakdale, Fort McCoy, and Volk Field were on scene. The cause remains under investigation. A new feature on iPhones is concerning people over possible security issues. The new name drop feature allows two people to touch phones and instantly share contact information. People are concerned that someone could use the feature to swipe their information in passing. But we took those concerns to a security expert at Madison College who says there shouldn't be any issues going forward. If you want to learn more, we have a story up at channel3000.com. The man accused of shooting three Palestinian students is pleading not guilty in court. Jason Eden is facing three charges of attempted murder of Tassin Ahmad, Hisham Awartani, and Kian Abdelhamid. The FBI is investigating the motive behind the shooting. As for the victims, one was released from the hospital, the other two are still in the ICU. Meanwhile, a cyber attack in Pennsylvania linked to the war in the Middle East has the Department of Homeland Security on alert this morning. The attack hit a Pittsburgh area water authority over the weekend. It shut down water pressure equipment and put up a message on the screen that says, down with Israel. The Department of Homeland Security is now investigating. All right, good morning. Meteorologist Kelly Slifka definitely bundled up the uh, kids headed off to the uh, bus stop this morning. We're in the uh, lower teens this morning. The wind chill values have been in the uh, single numbers, only headed into the lower 20s, and we will see a little bit more cloud cover as the afternoon wears on. Temperatures right now are right near 10 degrees uh, here in uh, Madison, 10 degrees also in the Dells. Lone Rock uh, at 14, uh, 10 degrees right now in Juneau and also Watertown, 10 degrees in Janesville. Mineral Point right now at 9. We do have a wind out of the west and northwest. That wind eventually will be turning around to the uh, southwest. Right now, the wind speed at 5 miles per hour in Madison, so it doesn't take much wind to create that really cold wind chill. Uh, fills uh, wind uh, speed up there in the Dells right now at 6 miles per hour. So we'll see a lot of sunshine this morning. Beautiful sunrise. Go out and check it out. But a little bit more cloud cover as we get toward the noon hour. And with those clouds around, it will be fairly gray. Temperatures in the lower 20s to later today. But we will have a southwest wind that will pick up this evening. That will bring us some warmer weather. But uh, beautiful sunrise now coming up. Temperatures in the uh, 20s uh, this morning. And uh, only getting to the lower 20s later today. A little bit more cloud cover going into the afternoon. Uh, temperatures, though, going forward do look better. 41 uh, tomorrow and also Thursday. And um, by this time tomorrow morning, I think we'll actually be in the lower 20s, so it won't be quite as cold as uh, this morning. And uh, going throughout the rest of the week into the weekend, our only uh, chance of any kind of precipitation is the late Saturday night and Sunday. Right now, it does not look like a big system. It may produce a little bit of light rain mixed with some snow uh, Saturday night into Sunday. But as you can see, temperatures running well, actually above average. Temperatures near 40 going into much of next week and overnight lows in the mid-20s. So no big storms headed our way. We're just going to be watching that one on Saturday night going into Sunday. Otherwise, pretty dry weather 
for the next 10 days. Certainly doesn't look like anything we get this weekend is going to stick, huh? Uh, it does not look like it because with those kind of temperatures, you know, it's uh, down to 31 Saturday morning, but uh, that would only last maybe a couple of hours. Otherwise, it looks like temperatures near 40 this weekend. Hey, not bad. Not All bad. right. Hey, uh, it's Giving Tuesday, folks. Uh, we encourage you to give to your favorite local charity today and uh, give back to the community who supports so many. Just make sure you're doing your due diligence and make sure that you're uh, given uh, through the proper channels so you're not uh, taken advantage of. And make sure you're keeping it right here on News 3 Now. We have another weather and news update coming up in about half an hour right here.